Hey, how are you? Welcome to Bistro Huddy Live. It's Bistro Huddy Live. Terry. With I'm Terry, in. Aaron, Brad, Bridget, Nicole, and Clint, Amber, Pickles, Nico. Nico. Chef Joey. Harry, Harry, where are you at? Tim. Oh. Terry. Tim. Tim. And Pam. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Roll tight. And many more. And now, from Table 30 in Bistro Huddy in fabulous Los Angeles, it's Drew. <laughs> Everybody. I see Matt. <clears throat> How's it going, Matt? And Hot Brotato. And Andrea. And Alexander. And Heather. You made it. <laughs> Matt, you were feeling lonely? I know. I was like, is this guy Francesca? You like the intro? <laughs> Thank you. It was fun to uh, <clears throat> to get everybody together to make that, you know. Sometimes it's like pulling teeth with these people. But um, greetings to everyone. Come on in. Um, as some of you know, maybe all of you know, excuse me, I uh, recently had uh, surgery. It was planned. It was a uh, scheduled surgery. Double hernia. Pa pow Double hernia. Raise your hand if you've if you've uh had hernia surgery but um it was it was intense uh, the the post i mean it's an outpatient deal they put you under of course but it's a lot of pain after so here's andrea the co-creator of bistro huddy eight months pregnant toddler who needs a lot of attention and now has to wait on me hand and foot while i just lay in bed um so we really need to give it up for her. <laughs> you know? um, so couldn't move that much. I'd walk around like completely hunched over. And then I, what have you been lifting? <laughs> no. So here's the story. I got this like 15 years ago. <laughs> and I went to the doctor and I, there's this bulge, you know, and I go to the doctor and to look at it and I, I can't remember. I don't think I had good medical insurance at the time. And this is the U S so it's like, it's going to cost a lot. And so I remember him telling me, you know what you, yeah, you, you have the hernia, but you can live with it. Like it, does it cause you pain? I said, no. He said, well, you could just kind of endure it. And if you're okay with it and if it ever becomes a painful problem, then we could, do surgery. And I said, okay. And I left and I have carried this, this around for 13 to 15 years. I can't remember what it was. And, uh, <laughs> I finally went for my physical cause I'm getting older. I went for a full physical. They drew like 12 vials of blood and tested everything and checked everything. And, um, I'm, I'm healthy, except cholesterol is high, so I'm, I'm working on that. But they looked at the hernia, and the doctor was like this. This is my impression of the doctor in the room when uh, he looked at my situation. He was like, he's, he's a very mild man, uh, not super emotional, you know. And he's like, okay. Oh, oh. Um, and I'm like, is it okay? And he's like, um, that's just, that, that might be the, that might be the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> so he goes, I, I kind of want my specialist to look at this. He's actually in the other room. Um, I think he's about to leave, but maybe I, I think he'd want to see this. <laughs> like, it's like something like to show, to get a reaction. So he's like, he goes, but the doctor couldn't see me then. And then, uh, he goes to set up an appointment for him. So I, I, I then go to Dr. Biederman and he checks me out and he's like, yeah, we got to do surgery. He goes, I, I'm actually surprised the other doctor 
let you leave like this and you've been living this way. So this was a long time coming. It was double. It was two. And so they uh, cut me in. They cut in. They stuffed me back in. They put these meshes in there. Like it's like a fake product, you know, plastic walls, basically, that will be with me. I said, how long do they last? He goes, longer than you. <laughs> so I guess if you want to exhume my body after I pass, you will find bones and mesh. It'll be like a weird um, uh, mesh bikini, basically, that I'll be wearing as a, as a skeleton. So that's something that we can all look forward to. You know, Geraldo Rivera can do it. He'll be ancient by then, of course. We are here to exhume the remains of Drew Taub <laughs> Drew Talbert and see what we find after these messages. We'll be right back. That's how I'm, I'm picturing it, if things go well. Uh, looking at some comments here. Heather's had it, no joke. Hurts worse than her C-section. Andrea had to have an emergency C-section with our toddler and... Uh, I think hers was worse by far because like I watched her in the hospital for days after it and she could not move. So uh, everybody's situation is different, of course. Matt says, I'm not old. Matt, we've had this conversation before. I'm old. You're old. Let's just be old together. Let's just, it's fine. Nikki is late, but better late than never, said everyone but Terry. How old are y'all? Now Matt wants to know ages. Clouds of my coffee is here. Yeah, it is sun. Ha ha. Adam is here again. I haven't, but my partner has, and it led to complications with her recent gallbladder removal, and she's been in the ICU for the last three weeks. Induced coma. Adam, I am sorry to hear that. So thoughts and prayers for Adam's uh, partner. Sheesh. And Adam, you're going through it, man. Cat, alien baby, they just didn't tell you. <gasps> Wait, Cat, are you suggesting that? Because I have had this theory that maybe they didn't just do a hernia. Maybe they pulled out an alien baby. What if all these hernias are not hernias? They're raising a a race of aliens that are pulling out of us that are created from our, you know, our processed sugar intake. We've got some ages coming in here. Oh, I'm in good company. I'm 45, so 44, 37, 21. Alexander is young. Awesome. By the way, I, I can't figure out how to chat here. Something about the the software I'm using, so um, forgive me, but let me see if I expand this a little. Nope, can't do it. And that's fine. I can read yours, so I'm not going to click away, but I will try to respond. Looks like we have a nice, uh, tight, small group, so um, I'll try to read as many as I can. And sometimes Andrea is really good. It, it reminded me of some questions someone asked that I didn't notice, so. Uh, Perks. Yeah, they gave me drugs. I actually prefer the Tylenol. I tried the hydrocodone. Um, many of you know I'm, I'm a recovering uh, drug addict, but mine was speed drugs like cocaine. So the, the pills didn't, like I didn't find myself wanting to like pound a handful of them or whatever. I they felt very weird to me. They did, you know, and oof, the constipation guys, can we talk about that? How, how does any, any opioid addict ever shit? Pardon my French, but I mean, I would have one of those in four hours. I did two twice and for four days, I, I couldn't even think about pooping. Like it was not an option. My body was like, we don't know that. We've never heard of poop. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, guys, we need to do this because we're eating food. Like the appetite was strong. So I'm like, Andrea's feeding me tacos and pizza and burgers. Bedside, just shoveling 
delicious food in my mouth. I'm pounding food. And my body's like, cool, we're just going to eat all this. And I'm like, well, it's got to, it's got to go somewhere. And they're like, no, we don't know what that is. I'm like, it's, it's one of the two ways things come out of us. Three, four, how many ways do things come out of us? Ah, fiber pills. Look, they, they put me on Coles, that stool softener. I was pounding those like candy guys. I'm like stool softener. I'm like fiber. I'm, I'm, I'm just like licking apples all day. I, nothing, nothing. It wasn't until I, I stayed away from the, uh, the opioids for a day that I was finally able to, uh, another alien baby which no one wants to hear about I'm sorry I'm probably losing viewers at this point talking about this disgusting stuff sorry about that you guys are better than that I forgot how classy you guys are Cat D wants to make a conspiracy character who knows Splenda is a CIA control mechanism ooh I like that hey Cat, what about or all of you for a conspiracy theory candidate Shouldn't that be like Tim's brother or Pam's brother? Like Tim and Pam bring in like their brother and he is a hardcore conspiracy theorist, but it's not all the real heavy stuff that we see in the news. It's like that. It's like sweetener and what it's doing to our brains and stuff. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) That's what I want. Pam's brother. Yeah. Flat Wather. Flat Earther, yes. I was like, what's a flat Wather? Is that a weird way of saying father? Uh, Earther, I got it. Yes, someone related to Tim and Pam, like a cousin. Yeah. This is my brother. He's never tried Beast Ruddy before, so you be nice to him, okay? And he'll be like, no. What do you write down? What are you writing down? Oh, he's just putting down our order. When we order, he writes it down. Hmm. Sure, he's writing down a lot. Let me see your papers. I don't know. Why'd you refill my iced tea like that? Doing a lot of numerology, you know? What table are we at? 32? We're at the second restaurant on this street. 32 times 2 is 64. This is the third day in the week. 64 minus 3 is 61. 61 is two months put together. If you take two months, it's known as months, plural. And I was born on a month, September. Same month, same month. As Ronald Reagan. Just saying. Lizard people are in human skin. He freaks out over spotting pickles. This is me. You're explaining Darl. See, Darl is not... He does not have that much going on. See, I... I don't feel like Darl has... The, the, the character I'm thinking of is his mind is going 120 miles an hour and Darl's mind is going at whatever the speed of a, of a, like a, a tired hamster wheel, you know, you know, the hamster wheel in the cage of the geriatric hamster or the hamster that's just like, uh, uh, I guess this wheel is here. I might as well use it. Ah, that's, that's Darl's, uh, brain to me. No offense, Darl. Pop quiz. Where does the, where did Darl get his name? Where did Darl get his name? I have mentioned it. Let's see who knows. Y'all use that splint in the tea. Maybe he talks like this. Y'all use that splint in the tea. Or um, I could do my mater boy. Oh, he's actually in there in the day. Uh, my mater. This is my mater, boys. Mater. 
I, I got to work on that one. Mater, mater, this is mater. Y'all want to know one thing about this hair? Is this uh, Splenda hair is not just for, it's, uh, Splenda is for people who want their mind substituted out for mush that the, uh, that the deep state's going to use so that they can read off our real brains while they put in the mush brains in place. And they'll take our real brains, and they're building a whole race of people to take them to live on Mars. And they're going to build up a gun there and shoot down the Earth and blow it up to pieces. Thank God I'll be gone by then. Doral cigarettes. No. Yeah, Nathan. I'm surprised Nathan's not getting this. Hey, Nathan, you, you should have known this one. I mentioned it. Where did the name Daryl come from? Mm -hmm. It is, uh, he has two uncles he's named after, two twins. Twins named Daryl and Carl. And so they put them together to, for Daryl. So Daryl is named after his uh see Bob Newhart show it was Daryl. I'm Daryl, this is my brother. I'm This is Daryl, this is my other brother Daryl. But they're both Daryl. You said that? Wait, let me see. You're explaining Daryl. This is great, but he did a hamster. That... No, he did. You said Doral cigarettes. <laughs> uh, speaking of pop quizzes, if anyone is on Instagram every first of the month, I do a trivia question and pick a random winner. By the way, um, oh wait, Andrea is saying. Let me read this again. This is Andrea. Speaking of pop quizzes, if anyone is on Instagram every first of the month, I do a trivia question and pick a random winner and we give away a Bistro Huddy shirt. Bistro Huddy. She said buddy, but it was a typo. Um, so if you want to get a freebie, because there's not an overwhelming number of people that submit, so your, your odds are pretty good. We've had some winners already who have gotten their stuff. So yeah, Larry. It's Larry, my brother Daryl, brother Daryl, and his mother, brother Daryl. Um. So check out Andrea if you're not already following her. It's at Andrea Kelly on Instagram. She writes all the Beastrati videos with me and is my, uh, you know, my north star. So like when I edit, she comes in and looks at it, and she's like, "Let's trim this and do that." She has a lot of creative input into these. So if you're not following her, you should already because she also does a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So if you like the behind the scenes, it's in her story. She's way more active on her stories than I am. And she'll put behind the scenes stuff and some other cool stuff. Um, yeah, typo, it's Bistro Hoodie. There is a product by the way, called Bistro Buddy. And the guy contacted me and he's like, hey, you're stepping on my turf, dude. I have a trademark. I'm Bistro Buddy. And uh, and he thought I was using his um, name to draw attention to Bistro Huddy. And I wasn't. It's just Google. Whenever people Google Bistro Buddy on accident, because a lot of people think that some of you may actually have thought that, that it's Bistro Buddy. It's Bistro Huddy. So people type in Bistro Buddy, they show them Bistro Huddy. They show them us. They show them our channels. And he was annoyed by that. He was like, why when I type in Bistro Buddy does it go to Bistro Huddy? So he came at me and I'm like, dude, talk to Googs. Talk to Googles, bro. It ain't me, bro. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to like make a freight fake restaurant, bro, and like play some characters, man. <laughs> you got to step off, bro. And he's like, what? Dude, you're like, you're, you know what I'm talking about? You're like, 
you're stealing my wave, bro. And I'm like, nah, friend. <laughs> I'm just living my life, bro. Okay, I have wondered if Nicole, a rich kid, cut off from the family money. There's a little of that. She kind of cut herself off. Upper middle class. So not like super wealthy, but her mom is Karen. And um, her dad was a pretty successful uh, white collar job kind of guy. So they were like, you know, l lower to mid six figures kind of thing where they had plenty. And then she just hated her mom so much. Uh, they just butted head so much. She kind of went off on her own. She didn't want to depend on them. Do you know what I mean? So. Hello. So glad I'm well for it. By the way. Some of you guys are just getting here. Can I play the opening again? Because we put this opening together and some of you were a little later. So if you haven't seen it, this is super quick. Here's the new opening to our family meal <clears throat> live stream. All right, ready? Here we go. Hey, how are you? Welcome to Bistro Huddy Live. It's Bistro Huddy Live. Terry. With Come Terry, in. Aaron, Brad, Bridget. Nicole and Clint Amber Pickles Nico Nico Chef Joey Terry Terry where are you at? Tim oh. Terry yeah, Tim. and Pam oh, I'm so sorry <laughs> Roll time and many more and now, from Table 30 in Bistro Huddy in fabulous Los Angeles, it's Drew! So there you have it. <clears throat> There's our new opening for our <clears throat> family live stream. I might tweak it. I might tweak it a little bit, but I wanted to spruce it up. Also, uh, we made some fun little entertainments for you Um on little breaks so by the way so here's the next thing I had surgery but it wasn't just me um, the entire staff and all the customers of Bistro Huddy had hernia surgery as well so I thought you might want to hear how some of the other characters handled it so I, I wanted I wondered if you wanted to see how Pickles or Nicole or Tim handled their um, <clears throat> hernia surgery, the lead up to it, all that. You could ask them some questions. So um, let me go see if uh, Pickles is around. And uh, while I do that, hold on. Studio mode. There we go. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go uh, find Pickles. And just imagine that you've entered Bistro Huddy and uh, you put your name in for a table or you did a reservation and there's been a little bit of a wait. Okay? I'll be right back. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Yes, you're you're on the list. Um, we're just waiting for some folks to get up. Yeah, and then we'll clean your table off and we'll have you set as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's been a busy night. <laughs> yeah. Some folks are taking their time, which is good. We want them to enjoy their meal. Yeah, it's just uh, sometimes it creates a little bit of a weight. You understand. You understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of takeout orders tonight. Yeah. So it's been kind of chill in that regard. Yeah. By the way, did your... Um, did your party include a child? I, I saw you had a baby. Because that counts as a person for, as far as where I see you, yeah. Okay, you do. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that. 
from a three to a four. Okay, so it might just be another another minute. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. We'll have you seated as soon as we can, of course. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how are ya? Wow. Hope you didn't have to wait too long. <laughs> What's up? I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, I had surgery. <laughs> yeah, is my boy Blue in here? Pickles. <laughs> um, I had I had hernia surgery, or that's what. They said, I don't understand, but they told me to show up and take all my clothes off and they put a dress on me, but my butt was showing. It didn't cover my butt. So I don't know what's up with that, but that's, that's what happened. And then I was, I don't remember anything. I just remember waking up. So like I had an uncle who was abducted by aliens and they put prodded him uh, in the butt um, a lot. Like he would tell stories about all the time about getting prod in the butt and uh, you know sitting around like Thanksgiving dinner. He would uh, he would talk about it how he how it was real transformative for him and kind of opened him up to a whole new way of seeing things. How you know the the prodding in his butt. And, um, yeah, and, you know, he said he wasn't angry about it. He was actually more at peace with it. And, and I, you know, so I, I think maybe there was some, some of that going on. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I wasn't awake. So, yeah. Um, is there pics of this? He never showed me pics. Oh, you mean of my surgery? A nipple reduction, maybe. I don't know. I, but when I came to, there was there was cuts in me. I was cut up, and so I think they must have planted something in there. Yeah, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like life is a journey, and you just kind of have to see it as a great big adventure, and you never know what's around the corner. So, who knows what I have in me? You know what I mean? I know they tried to explain it to me, but. Honestly, when doctors and teachers, people like that start talking, my brain starts sounding like birds. Yeah, it's just like tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good now. Yeah, it was, it was a rough go. Someone asked about the food truck. It is rolling. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, that's that's kind of my little my thing but like people are really getting into pickles man like I didn't realize how many people just loved pickles I, I think pickles are kind of having a moment right now yeah they put pickles in the pickles yeah um but we're we're, we're gonna start experimenting a little bit more maybe I'll have to try that one a pickle inside like pickle stuff pickles but uh, I'm starting to get more into the, like the spicy pickles and a lot of crazier flavors and some different like flavors from around the world, some Mediterranean spiced pickles and all kinds of things. Also caper berries, like pickled caper berries are so good and they're super salty. Yeah, have you ever seen a caper berry? It's like really big, but it tastes like a caper. Yeah, so you can do a lot with those too. I feel like technically they can be called pickles. Have you heard of a snickle? It's a snicker bar stuffed inside a pickle. Whoa! I didn't know about that. Pickles, what is your favorite national brand of pickles? I'm partial to Clausen myself. Also, have you ever had pickles from Tony Pacos of Mash fame? No! Adam, I feel like you're opening my eyes to like so much. Clausen is a is a solid pickle. It's got that good crispness, you know, like if you bend it, 
You can only get so far before it, it snaps. And that's what you're looking for. If you can bend it all the way, you, like, you don't want your pickle to be like a gymnast. You know what I mean? You want it to snap in half. Yeah. I'm about 45 minutes from Toledo. Love Tony Paco's. Wow, everybody loves that Tony Paco's. I'll have to try it if I'm ever down that way. Maybe I'll drive the pickle truck down there. Yeah. What else is going on with you guys? Was Drew drinking out of this? I hope he doesn't mind me uh, sharing. <laughs> Have y'all tried pickle beer? I've never tried chick pick chickle chickle cheer. I've never tried pickle beer. Heather did. Karen Brown says, "Come to Michigan." That's what we ought to do. Is get a just pickles food truck. Get get the just pickles food truck and take it on a nationwide tour. That'd be so fun, right? Did you guys come see me? You want it to snap like Tim after one wrong comment. Good one. Good one, Nathan. Mart's, Mars Brewing makes a dill pickle beer near Southside Chicago. Okay. I have to look into that too. All right, guys. So, uh, is everybody doing good? How's it? Look, it's, it's summer is almost over, but it ain't going quiet, guys. It was 106 degrees today in Los Angeles. Yeah. Hot. So, and weather's doing crazy stuff everywhere. Those poor people in Pakistan, I, my heart goes out to them. And Jackson, Mississippi heart goes out to them and there's a lot of people really struggling right now with this weather so uh not to bring the mood down but the just pickles food truck wishes it could uh provide everywhere you know what i mean pickles what's your favorite musical guys and dolls sit down sit down sit down sit down you're rocking the boat that's my favorite yeah also i love that song sue me Sue me, sue me, what can you do me? I love you. Go ahead, hate me, hate me, go ahead, hate me, I love you. Also, um, I like Man of La Mancha. That's a great musical. Very underrated, super emotional. Like, I get real... I don't cry, but I get really stirred up whenever I see Man of La Mancha. Oh, yeah. I am my Dulcinea. Yeah, it's pretty hot out in the bay, too. By the way, everyone run and get your Bistro Huddy t-shirt. I wore it to a non-chain restaurant and got comped a drink. It was a Bloody Mary with a big crunchy pickle. Cat, yay! Cat got comped a drink for wearing the Bistro Huddy t-shirt. We ought to start that as a program. <laughs> Encourage uh, restaurants to do that. It will like refund them. It's amazing. Urban Artifact in Cincinnati has it. Y'all should try it. You guys giving out more uh, pickle beer recommendations. Very cool. Twin Cities. Oh, thank you, Heather. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bow out. And we're going to bring somebody else in. Is there is there somebody else you want to see talk about stuff? You want Nicole or Tim? I'll give you an option. Nicole or Tim? They recognize the logo. That is so cool, cat. Bye, Pickle. Bye, Darl. Nicole. Nicole, Tim, uh-oh. See if we get two Tims, two Nicoles. There's a Nicole. Nicole, okay, Nicole. Oh, there's a Tim. All right, maybe we'll do both. All right, let me get Nicole, and then we'll do Tim after that. Let's see. You guys want some trivia? 
I think we got some trivia here for you. Why don't you watch some trivia and I'll be right back. Hey guys, how did you do? I know you're not going to be honest anyway, so like whatever. I could like go back through here and grade you all, but I just don't have the time and I don't really care. <laughs> I just don't care, sorry. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just had hernia surgery and I've never given birth. Um, I have never had a baby of my own. But I could imagine now what that what that's like. I really can, like having a C-section, I mean. So I feel like in a way, it was like, you know, practice. It was like, like practice, except for like holding a baby in my stomach for like nine months part. <laughs> I didn't do that. <sighs> but otherwise, you know, same. Oh my gosh, what's up guys? Matt, Karen, smudged glasses. Alexander. Woohoo, Francesca. That's such a beautiful name. I'm always jealous when I see a beautiful name because I'm like, Nicole. But like, Francesca is gorgeous. Like, you already know you're just like beautiful. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Hernia equals pregnancy pregame. Poop baby. Excuse me, Nathan. You are disgusting. Why are you even talking about poop babies? Like, what is your problem? Oh. Been on any hot dates lately before your surgery? Um, honestly, Francesca, the surgery was the hot date because the doctor, the doctor, guys, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Why did I not put on makeup? <laughs> He's like, because we specifically requested you not to. You can't wear makeup for surgery. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so lame. <laughs> and I was like, thought it was so funny. And he was like, very serious. So I kept like trying to poke, like poke him and like make jokes. And like the more I did it, the more irritated he got. But like, I know that like, sometimes like my style is like not for everybody, but like, honestly, I wear people down. Like, he is going to be mine. So, like, a follow-up appointment is coming up tomorrow. And I am going to come in there fully done up. Like, looking like hot fire. And this doctor is not going to be able to resist it. And he's going to be like, okay, she's hot. She's hilarious. And I'm... 
seen her like completely naked with her clothes off while I was cutting into her. So like all of those things together are like the recipe for like a wonderful long term relationship. Don't you think? What would I know? I don't have much success with that, do I? A friend of mine growing up was self-conscious about having the same, the name Nicole. I get it. I love a hot person in crabs. Excuse me, Matt. I love Nicole. Scrubs. I think you're saying scrubs. Follow-up appointment sounds like a second date. Alexander, are we besties? Thank you, Francesca. He is an idiot already because he should have done it in the hospital. Like, yeah. Get it, Nicole. With so many employees off with hernia surgeries, how did the restaurant survive? Terry trying to keep it going. He didn't burn things to the ground, did he? He almost did. Like, he was out of his mind. By the way, Terry had it too. Like, we all had hernia surgeries. It was crazy. But, like, Joey and Terry showed up. I don't know how. Like, they had to, I guess. Who's the owner of this place? Like, who's the owner of Bistro Eddie? That's what I want to know. Like, why is he, like, making people work like that? So I tried to force Drew to come in. Yep. He did. Drew got all these texts from Terry because Terry, Drew was then texting all of us. And he's like, Terry is out of control. He is texting me nonstop to come in. Like, he doesn't believe that I'm seriously just had hernia surgery, even though we all did. But for some reason, Terry just would. I think Drew is like the dependable one. He's always the one that's going to show up. So Terry just had it in his head that he could get to Drew. But Drew almost quit. It was so bad. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, you guys. So anyway, me and Doctor are going to like live happily ever after. So this is probably the last you're going to see of me because he's going to fall in love with me and he's going to sweep me off my feet and he's got doctor money. And so he's going to be like, oh, baby, I don't want you working on your feet all day, like serving people food. You should be served, you know, so like, I guess this is it for me, guys. Oh, my gosh. I just realized I'm going to be like a kept woman. Oh, that's so bad for me. Like, it's my dream. Honestly, it's my dream. Like, take care of me. Someone just, like, take care of me. And I'm, like, a total feminist, like, women's lib, all that. Love it. Like, get yours, girls. Get yours. Like, do not cross me. Strength and power. But someone take care of me. Like, someone just please take care of, like, just the financial stuff. And then I can, like, run shit. Like, that's what this doctor needs to understand is like all he has to do is like pay for my stuff and then I will like take care of everything. I will make his life so good. Like travel plans, like dining out, like taking care of the house, looking for a new house, vacations, done, taken care of. Like no one will ever cross this again. Like he is going to be in such good hands and all he has to do is pay for my life. Like that's it. It's a good trade off. <clears throat> you want some dating advice okay so here's my dating advice and it sounds super cliche and you're gonna be like okay but because here's the thing people are gonna say um play hard to get or be direct or or whatever or like um know your worth and all that stuff is great but my dating advice is is this Listen, because these MFers will tell you who they are very early. But a lot of you girls, you hear it, but you deny it because you're enamored with some part of them. And so you get the red flag. That is him telling you through body language, through showing up late, through not texting you back or something he literally says to you. He is telling you who he is. And you think, oh, no, that's not it. That's just a, a blip, a blip. Listen, because he is telling you who he is early on. Listen, OK, so you can either accept it or not. But my dating advice is to listen to what he's saying, who he that he is. 
he's telling you early on who he is. And you can just save a lot of heartache and time by listening to that and behaving appropriately. Like, i.e., run the hell away, usually. Right? Oh my gosh. Who just did it? I was just about to ask. So the other tip for dating is to um, not give it up on the first date or the third date or whatever. Give it up when you want it. That's all. Like, don't hold back and don't do it just to do it. And my other dating advice is always order an appetizer. (laughs) Because odds are they're paying. And so it's a it's a chance to taste more yummy food. Always order an appetizer. Done. And do like something yummy. Like show him you're classy. You know what I mean? Like order the the ahi tartar. Order like the good stuff. Matt, are you saying Serena? Did Serena just do it? Like, is she the, are you talking about the tennis player? Was she playing tennis tonight? Good for her. What are your thoughts on a fried app? I love a fried app. Like, what what are your thoughts on a fried app? Like, I love fried things. Like, anything fried, I am in. So, like, gimme, gimme. Are you talking, talking about, like, um... Mozzarella cheese sticks. <laughs> By the way, no shade because there's some really good mozzarella cheese sticks out there. What's the place Andrea goes to this place? Something in Vinny's. John and Vinny's. It's in Los Angeles. And they have amazing mozzarella cheese sticks. I think it's called John and Vinny's. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't just get something just because it's fried. I'm just saying I wouldn't go away from it just because it was. Like fried squash blossoms are like one of my favorite appetizers, right? Nicole, I need to know if Ruby got hired. (laughs) I think you two would be great friends. We'll find out. We'll find out. (laughs) Okay, guys, I'm going to get out of here. But um, I think Tim is coming to talk to you guys and I don't want to be anywhere near him because he's he seriously stresses me out so it's been so good seeing you guys um I think there's like a little video or something to watch while we find Tim um oh real quickly Adam because we love you how many couple fights have you seen where the girl said she didn't want fries and then she proceeded to eat most I haven't seen many fights but I order my own fries, damn it. I am not ashamed. I will say that. Okay. All right, guys. So have fun with Tim, I guess. Like, I'd be scared if I were you because he's insane. But, you know, maybe. Oh, wait. I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh, whatever. Um, anyway, I will be right back. Or not me. I'm sorry. Tim will be right back. What am I talking about? Um, Until then, guys, I'll see you around. Bye. Oh, no, what happened? For everybody drinking. Nah, man, this is fake. Get the fuck out of here. I need a card to start the tab. I don't do mojitos, okay? Nothing muddled, nothing blended, nothing infused, okay? Get the fuck out of here. In a minute, in a minute. Draft or bottle. Draft or, draft or bottle. Kevin Duncan. Ke- he didn't pay. I need-
need ice. I need ice. Where's Jake? God damn it. We're closing out after every round. It's driving me crazy. Just keep your tab open. You got a server, okay? Order from your server. Cut off. You're cut off. Everybody's cut off. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. The hell? The hell y'all want? Can't believe they got me back in here. I'm trying to recover my hernia. Should be called hemia. Hemia, by the way. Her hernia? Do I look like a hernia? So I told him, I said, don't call it a hernia. I'm a him. Give, give me a hemia. Y'all so into damn pronouns and shit. I'm a hemia. Roll Tide. Hernia. Although somebody pointed out, since it's a, something that I'm trying to get removed or whatever, maybe it is a hernia because I wish sometimes I could remove Pam. Sorry to say it. No, y'all know I love her. Y'all know I love her. Come on. Carry on that talent. Don't hurt you. Luckily, oh, Thank you. Luckily, you got your surgery done in time for college football season. Hell yeah, roll tide. I don't know if y'all seen the pre preseason rankings. Who they got number one? Alabama damn Crimson Tide. That's who. Because we're going to roll up again. Saban's going to bring them boys in there. And we're going to roll through the old SEC, through the West, through the SEC title game. On the national championship game, we are going to roll whoever is in our our path. I don't know if y'all seen that recent Manti Teo documentary. Y'all seen that Manti Teo documentary on Netflix where that that bo poor boy from Hawaii got uh, catfished and uh, ruined his career or whatever. My favorite part of that whole documentary was when they got to that championship game and they – what happened? Feel good story of the year. Notre Dame got to the championship game, 12 and 0. What happened? They got their ass rolled. Rolled tied. Rolled damn tied. That's right. Some boys from Alabama came in there and took care of business. OH, OSU, War Eagle, please. What are y'all doing? Listing a bunch of teams that we're going to beat? <laughs> No, you won't. Y'all washed up, please. Washed up. Saban don't get washed up. He reloads. He's got like a semi-automatic. Saban we trust. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go Bucks. Ohio State, please. Ohio State, man. Y'all have had a couple good seasons, but it just you're in a different league. Tim, you ever get your meal comps from Terry for the Patreon work you've done? Yep. He's done it. He's comped, He's been a good man of his word for that. Comped me a meal or two. Uh, but he's always like, I'll take care of your meal if you could just take care of my server. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? He's like, yeah, I'll take care of the meal. You take care of my server. And he's talking about tips. So he's like, take care of the meal. And they're always telling me you tip on percentage, 20% or whatever the hell. Well, what's 20% of zero? What's 20% of zero? I'm asking you. Somebody who's good at math. If my meal's zero, what do I tip? 20% of zero is what? They, they teach us this out in Alabama, trust me. Zero. Thank you, hot potato. So I tip 20%. Every time. And they get all pissy about it. One time that blonde one, Nikki, the blonde waitress, Nikki or Nicole or whatever, she come running out after me. It wasn't even her table. It was Brad's table. She come running out after me. And she says this. She goes, I'm sorry, was the service no, was the service not up to par tonight? I said, what the hell you mean? She goes, was the service not up to par tonight? So what the hell are you talking about? It's fine. She goes, oh, because you didn't leave a tip. I'm like, the the damn audacity on her. 
the damn audacity. So you know what I done? I reached into my wallet right there, right in front of her, and I pulled it out. Yeah. She didn't like that. She did not like that. But I tried to yell at her. She was running away, screaming. I was like, I gave him 20%. I gave him 20%. Pam is like grabbing me by the arm, pulling me into the truck. She was, I ain't never seen somebody so mad. You would have thought I insulted her, her mom or something. Yeah, see, Alexander, I'm no mathematician, but I believe 20% of zero is indeed zero. A damn audacity. Tim, you would be the one to be a horrible tipper. Aaron, Aaron, shut it. Shut it. First of all, Aaron, you're probably... You, you probably one of those servers I've had that abandons the hell out of me, right? You take my word and I don't ever see you again. And now you want a tip. Yeah. I know. Alexander, do you guys do these live streams in the restaurant after closing? Oh, uh, actually, restaurant's still going strong. They're they're running around right now serving all kinds. They, they tell me to come over here for a minute. Get behind this here microphone and talk into the camera. So I do it. But, yeah, they're all busy. Cat D, personally, I hate the whole tipping system. They should pay a living wage. Honestly, what ain't, what ain't a living wage? I've lived on nuts. I mean, I've lived on peanuts before. So, you know, don't come crying to me about a living wage. I find a home wherever I find a place to lay my head. You know, I don't cry too much. So, everybody's talking about a living wage. You live, ain't you? You live, you got a living wage. What, oh, you know, what, you want AC? I don't understand. Like, what is it? When I was a waiter, I ran outside over some European person acting like they didn't know how to tip, but told me they came to the USA often. Psh, I was, I wish clouds in my coffee 84 i wish you'd come running me I, I wish you'd come running up to me nicole's lucky she wasn't a man you come run up to me I, i'll show you what's what i'll give you a tip uh maybe two of them tim you would be the oh yeah i read that i read that one i remember when the standard tip was only 10 percent. 15 percent was for great service yeah, well, now they tell me it's 25 to start. Or 20 to start. So, I usually do it. I tip 20%. You know, I'm not. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm grumpy and I'm like talking a bunch of stuff. But, I, look, we go in there too often, okay? I can't piss off the whole staff like that. Boy, you need another hernia surgery if I got a hold of you. Oh, you want it? Oh, okay. All right. Here, here he comes. What's your name? Nathan, right? Nathan's coming hard now. You want some of this? You want some of this, Nathan? Come on. You know where to find me. I'm at Bistro Hoodie every damn Friday night. And I'll make a special trip for you. Whew. Set it up. Young, I'm scared. I'll take it down worse than you. How, how big an old boy are you? How big an old boy are you? Probably like 5'10", 185, pure fat. Boy, you need another. Come on with it. Yeah, a lot of bars here. California automatically charges 12% on every drink. Oh, where in California? They don't do that at Bistro Hoodie. I'm cornbread fed. I'll come whoop you now that you eat all that tofu. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Take your easy shots, Nathan. Take your easy shot. You strike me as a soy eater for sure. The Bay Area. Yeah, the Bay Area. Six foot, eight inches, 285 pounds. Oh, Adam. All right. <laughs> Adam, we ain't got no beef. Just want to make that clear. This is between Nathan and I. Adam and I are friends. Adam and I ain't got no beef. 
Just want to make that perfectly clear that me and the giant man have no beef. Uh, leave Adam alone. Please, I am leaving Adam alone. Trust me. I'm scared the hell out of me. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm scared, but Adam, scary. Nathan, whoever comes up with clouds in my coffee 84 as a username does not scare me. Okay? Clouds in my, you sound like you just read a bunch of poetry. Like, what are you going to do? Like, take off your round glasses and your scarf, put down your poetry and your soy latte and come out and whoop my ass. Is that is that what's going on? I'd like to see it. It'd probably be worth it. I'd tell Pam to film it. She's filming everything all the damn time anyway. Shh. Clouds in my coffee. T.S. Eliot bullshit. Oh. If you're scared, then go to church. Please. You, you sound like one of those atheists anyway. I, what do you know about church? We would like all, we would all like to see it. Yeah. She is a great match. She's the only one that can handle me. I got to start driving home, so I'll only be listening. But if y'all, you're off by the time I'm back, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. This live stream has made my day off significantly better. Well, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Probably the only thing you're going to hear, Alexander, while you're driving is the screams of Nathan saying, please, mercy, mercy, please. Anyway, all right. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get Drew back here, okay? I think we're plumb out of uh, fun uh, inner, inner whatever uh, entertainments. But what we will do is uh, put up a little graphic and uh, I'll get Drew back out here real quick, all right? I'm going to go kick Nathan's ass and I'll be right back. Bye. This is, uh, look at this wig line here. Man. <clears throat> Tim was on one. Tim was on one. Honestly. Um, um, <clears throat> as you can hear, my voice is almost gone and I probably have exerted myself more than I should have anyway, but I, so I'll, I'll wrap it up soon, but this has been real fun. I wanted to talk about Andrea really quick. My wife, co-creator of Beast Ready, uh, huge Halloween fan, <laughs> huge. And uh, she could not even wait till September 1st this year. So today she busted it out. She has been collecting for like five, six years now. Um, from Lemax makes something called Spooky Town. It's basically like a Christmas village, but Halloween. And she's been collecting cool houses and stuff. And she put it out today. It is, it fills up the entire dining room table. And then some. And it is incredible. They all light up and there's sounds and there's characters. And it's so cool. So I want her to reveal that. Maybe next live. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get a camera over there to show you guys. But you could also follow her on her um, um, Instagram, at Andrea Kelly, and she'll probably post a video of it there too. So, Yeah. 
like Department 56. Is that, uh, do they make Halloween stuff too? Yeah, this is uh, Lemax, I think. Maybe it's a competitor. But yeah, and uh, it's really fun. She always finds a new one each year, one or two things to add. So it just grows and gets really, really cool. Um, I love Halloween so much. I've told Andrew this before. Francesca, yeah. She makes it so fun. I didn't celebrate Halloween growing up. My parents didn't believe in it. So for me, being with Andrea has exposed me to all this fun Halloween stuff I never got to do as a kid. Uh, we took our toddler trick-or-treating last year, and it was like my first time too. <clears throat> so that was really fun. But, um, yeah, so we'll wrap it up. Um, thanks to everyone who came and participated i wasn't sure how it would go how i was feeling but we got some good fun characters in and had a lot of fun uh i'll keep tweaking the uh hello lisa uh we'll keep tweaking the um the little bits and stuff and have fun with that but i hope that was fun too um and then hopefully i'll be feeling better soon i can start making more content so some fun ideas we want to make. So very excited about that as well. Um, but that's it. Thank you. No, uh, it wasn't Jehovah's Witness, but it was very religious. Yeah. Missed you guys. Um, missed making content, just laying around on my butt. So Matt, I think I'm getting fired from work after four. Oh, I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, that's it. I will. Uh, I will see you uh, next time. I'll see you on Patreon. I'll see you in stories on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and all that. And uh, we'll do another live stream on Sept in September. We'll post the date in the next little bit and uh, look for more character vlogs and early access and all that fun stuff too. And if you're a franchisee subscriber and you've not gotten your welcome video from me yet, it's in your email somewhere. So look for it. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.